All right, sports fans, as you can see, my TI-84 calculator is still on the blitz. You're going to have to torture through my Kindle and Desmos, uh, but all we really need to do, it's, it's pretty simple stuff in terms of uh, evenness or oddness. So in the first one, x to the 6, 7x cubed minus 8, our algebraic test that it's neither. It's neither symmetric about the origin or the y-axis. So when I go graph it, we can pretty much see that that, in fact, is the case. All right, uh, it's definitely not symmetric with the y-axis. It's not symmetric with the origin if we, uh, you know, did a double flip or rotated it around. So our algebra matches what we're seeing physically with that crazy graph. Okay, uh, the next one we found to be even. So what I'm expecting is the graph to be nice and symmetric with the y-axis. So when I graph that, lo and behold, what I get is a kind of a W shape, right? Definitely the picture over here matches the picture over there. So our algebra matches the picture that we're seeing. Okay, so so far so good. Let me uh, adjust this and come back. So for the next round, okay, um, turn that off. Our test proved that 4x minus x cubed was odd. So we're expecting it to be nice and symmetric about the origin. So when I ask it to graph, there's basically our graph, and you can see, you know, if I flip this down and over, I get that point. Or if I rotate it 180 degrees, right, this hump will go, this low point will be this high point. This high point will be that low point. So it's definitely visually symmetric about the origin. So our math was right. Our algebra was good, solid. Move on. The next graph, that parabola was neither even or odd. So when I go graph that parabola, we can see that it's definitely not symmetric with the origin and it's not symmetric with the x-axis, or excuse me, the origin or the y-axis. So again, our algebra test validated that. And then last but not least for these last two loops, I think I overshot my bounds there, All right? Uh, oops. Um, this one we proved was even, so I expect there to be a nice symmetric graph with the y-axis. So when I press that to graph, Right, that's a little, kind of visually hard to see, but we do see definitely that like this part here looks like that part over there, and we have the symmetry throughout. Um, and so, and we also have some vertical asymptotes we'll get to, but it definitely is symmetric about the y-axis as proven, so it is even. And then, last but not least, this last function we proved through our test that it's odd. So when I go graph that, um, again, kind of hard to see, but if we were to rotate this around 180 degrees. Or if we took this part and flipped it, and then flipped it over, we'd get that part. And then maybe we just go point to point, right? Like, so 5, 3, if I flip it down, becomes 5, negative 3. And if I flip it over, becomes negative 5, negative 3, which it does. All right, so both of them are negative. And then even over here, let's try to find a nice value. Uh, it's kind of hard to see what a nice one over here. But how about we go with, uh, that's like negative 1.5 and 4. Right, so if I do a double flip, what we end up with, right, is uh, positive 1.5 and negative 4. So they both are their opposites. We have uh, the, the x's are opposites and the y's are opposites. So again, the visualness via Desmos, all right, is showing us what we wanted to see, that we are in fact, uh, uh, our math was good, all right? We know how to do our algebra, which is good because I'm an algebra teacher, okay? So uh, again, make sure you can do it both visually with a graph, all right? Hopefully you've got your TI calculator working well, all right? Or algebraically with a test, all right? So practice up, study hard, ask questions. We have one more topic to talk about with regard to section 3.3, and I'll do that in a new video coming soon.